I paid two thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars for this abandoned storage unit. I've pulled out thousands of dollars in the collectibles already, and we're gonna keep that going today, starting with this right here. Check that out. Inbox, brand new, old vintage looking train, literally sealed. That's gotta be worse than money for sure. Trust me when I say don't go anywhere because this might be our best storage unit of all time. Every storage buyer knows one of the scariest things are fridges because sometimes people store food and this stuff's been in here for 20 years. So there's food in there. I might not make it out of here alive. I really might not. So we'll get to that in a bit. First, let's go to the blue tote right here. I'm gonna set it right on this table. Perfect. So convenient. Let's see. Oh, coin rolls. Coin rolls. We found coin rolls last time. I think we're gonna find coins in this unit. Ooh, that's the a lot of paperwork. Ew, 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 a lot of paperwork. This is the kind of stuff we'll look through because stuff like this is where I found cash in the past. Let's just open up this one. Probably nothing in there, but I'll look through it for sure. This isn't even a card that opens up. It's just somebody's invitation. So the personal stuff, I'll make sure they get back. But first, I'm looking for money. Check out this golf bag right here. What's the brand on that say? Ooh, looks fancy. It looks really nice. Elevated base system. That's all it says on it. Does that say anything great different? Great divider. Great divider. I think divider. that's the brand. Great divider. Okay, maybe that's the tight. Let's see if there's anything in there. There's obviously no, uh, whatever they're called, sticking out golf clubs. <laughs> but where would like balls be? I mean, I would stink to check down low. That's <laughs> usually where you find balls. Yeah, right. Right, yeah, right, I mean, right, right, right around here. Like this is the whole thing. I think right around here is where you usually find balls. I don't see any though, but I imagine this on its own is worth some money. Quick eBay search shows the average sold price around $100 pre-owned. Let's go to this box here. Oh, guess what I got with me? Huh. Boom, a knife. Guess what? What? I don't think you need it. No, I don't need it. Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, no, I don't. Of course, that's why I had it with me, because I didn't need it. Ew. I don't like books. Most books aren't worth a whole lot of money. There are random ones in there that could be worth money. Here's somebody's Bible. Bible. I always spin through it because people always tell me in the comments, oh, Bibles, you can find money. People put money in there. I've been buying units for six years, probably well over 500. I've never found $1 in a Bible before. So it might be a thing, but I don't know if I believe it. But most of these books are just going to be, you know, 50 cents to a dollar a piece. So maybe a $10 box. Let's go to this box. I think it's just my brain playing tricks on me, but I keep feeling like I smell something coming from this fridge. Like I really do. Uh -oh. I'm really nervous to open that well we're gonna get that get to that first what's inside the box here Ugh. oh what is this old computer another one this is an old cpu that is a really old computer that is windows what windows is it running it just uh, says microsoft windows me windows me okay i haven't even heard of that one does it have a mouse in there though that's the real question oh <gasps> does it Oh my gosh, yes. Everybody, the ball. everybody knows what these are for. Who used to take these from school when you were in elementary school? Yes, give me the ball. Oh, yay! Nice. You know what? 3K, this is worth it right here. I don't need anything else. I won. Let's go to the next box. We already got a big pile going here of all their stuff. A lot of storage unit buyers just throw people's stuff away. I feel like it's kind of messed up. So we always got like the pictures, trophies, home VHSs, that kind of stuff in a separate pile so they can get them back. Let's go into this one. Oh, speaking of personal, speaking of. I guess I picked a good time to talk about personal stuff. Are these all used photo albums? These are all photo albums right here. A whole box. See, this is the kind of stuff that crushes people when they lose their storage unit and they can't get back. Like a TV, you can buy it again. You can't take those photos again. So this one will go right with this stuff over here to make sure they get it back. And let's just grab the next box first. Why is there a gasoline jug? Gas can. A gas can. Nice. Sit right there. It's like a couple bucks, right? <laughs> yeah. Let's go to this box here. Ooh. That sounds interesting. Let's see. We found a lot of sports memorabilia last time, like signed baseballs, baseball cards, that kind of stuff. So usually people don't have one box of that. You know, usually the sports collectors are huge. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for more sports stuff. <laughs> Let's see if we got it in here. What is that? Thomas the train. Thomas the train. These are oh. trains? Maybe those are just stickers. Let's see. No, oh. look at that. It's what, a bunch of are, little trains. All right, those are the ones we found some carded last yeah, time. Yeah, we did. We found some of these that were still sealed from Toys R Us with the receipt in the bag from 1994, which is kind of cool. 30 years ago. Huh. That's cool. There's a massive variety of different Thomas the Train trains. So we're just going to guesstimate based on these sold listings that each pile is going to be worth about 25 bucks. Could be more or less. Yeah. Oh. Thomas the Train stuff. Look at this. Cool. Whole little Thomas the Train collection going on in here. Oh, these are cards. Thomas the Train cards. And these, some... these are the cards that were on the back of the the cards, oh, were they? like the sealed uh, trains. They were on the back. Okay. These are Power Ranger cards, and that looks like NASCAR or something. So, <laughs> definitely heading in the right direction. I'm liking collectibles. 
This, I bet you this is actually worth money. And every all jokes aside, because Thomas the Train was a huge show. I was born in '94 as well, and I never got into this show, but I know everybody was. So I bet you this stuff here is gonna be worth some money. This, what's this first? Hmm. Bookends. It says, well, we don't know if it's telling the truth. It could say bookends and have a million dollars in there. What we if they're Thomas the out. Train bookends? They might be. Let's see. Well, they are. Look like train, just not Thomas the Train. So they're like that. Just little train ones, probably to hold all the Thomas the Train books. We've been finding a lot of Thomas the Train. Even though, technically, I think it's Thomas the Tank Engine, he's Thomas the Train to me. <laughs> and right here, one last thing. Are these all trains as well? Let's see. Oh, nice. nice. This box right here is definitely going to be worth some money. Why am I just now realizing the fridge and freezer are tied shut with what looks like an extension cord? I can't see it. I mean, there's obviously a body in there. We're all aware of this now. There's a body inside the fridge. Well, we're going to open that fridge later. Okay. These are suitcases. I can't tell if it's weighted down because of the wheels or if there's something in there. Nothing's in this section. What about this section here? Ah, open up you. No. Let's open the main compartment up. Give wonder, us something good. I wonder what body's in there. I don't know. Maybe. Ooh. What is that? This is a Rosetti. Just a bag. Clean. Uh, yeah, pretty clean. This Duffel one, bag. duffel bag. What's it say on it? Um, e T H V Y L Ethel. Yeah, that. Again, just a duffel bag. This one feels leather though, and it's also very clean though. But I want to open these pockets because you never know. You never know. Nothing in the side pocket. Nothing's in the front pocket. So it's all empty. But I bet you these bags are worth a little something. Let's just grab the other suitcase over here. This one, same thing. I think it's gonna it might have another bag in it, but we're gonna open it just to be sure. Look at the wheels on this one. What the heck is up with this? Why are there so many? Seriously. Okay, it looks like it's empty. But, yeah, that's empty. But still, both of them are very nice pieces of luggage, so they definitely got some value on their own. Not only did we find sports collectibles, we also found quite a little bit of vintage video game stuff, like a Pokemon Game Boy game was like 50 bucks, a sealed SpongeBob Game Boy game. So, it definitely seems like somebody who had kids that were my age, so I'm hoping for like, you know, Pokemon cards, Pogs, something cool like that, just 90s collectible type stuff. Let's see, look at these old Walmart bags. These are all new, look at this. This is a set of three frames, just like that. All brand new in the package, never used. And the Walmart bag, you can tell it's been in storage for who knows how many years. This is just paper. What is this? The glass something crystal clutch? Oh, no. Uh -oh. Trolled, trolled, trolled. Uh, there's some picture frames, we'll make sure they get those back. What about in here? This is just really random, like a bike seat cover or something. Uh, a present. Yes. Yay. We got a present. Uh, what is that? Uh, makeup? Makeup of some sort. Okay, it looks new. There's that. What about this? Here's the real present. This one looks like jewelry. Oh, it is. No, it's just a keychain. It's a, uh, it looks like a breast cancer keychain. Mm -hmm. And at the bottom, it's got that. Love to shop. Cringe. Nah. Put that here. And we'll go into this. There's a Target receipt. Let's see when they bought this stuff. This is from 2006, so 18 years. It's probably it is. Bought it, stuck it in a bag, and stored it. Why? I don't know. Insignia. There's a little box for like a, one of those old school, you stick your iPod on it and play the music. Other than that, it looks like a lot of paperwork. I'm just going to pull these Target bags out to make sure there's nothing else hidden in there. Like this? Is this a brand new bag? What is it? Does it have a brand name on it? The brand on this is just Villager, but it does look like a little bag. This? This one's got something in it. What's in here? Come on. Come on, baby. What is this stuff? Just bathroom stuff. Not what we wanted. Let's go to this box now. It just says Misk on it. That can mean anything. I like Misk. I do too. Not like that last one. Oh, I like oh, it. Oh! Nice. nice! Football with a belt in it. That's always good. These are easy sales because there's always somebody from the city that's a fan of the team. <laughs> Those are easy. Sorry. Uh, that. Ooh, is this another camera? I think it's in there. I think it's in there. This is a Fine Picks Z sharing it all. Let's see if I can get it to open without destroying it. Oh, really? Shoelaces. Shoelaces. And what is and that? A belt buckle. Okay. That's not what I was looking for. I was hoping we had the camera, but okay. This is some of these metal Commonwealth Scholars. Mm -hmm. Smart guy. Throw it right in the box back. behind you. Yeah, we'll make sure they get it back. Go a little deeper. A lot of belts in here. Okay, this one looks it's interesting back. though. This definitely looks interesting. Comfort in, but bags. Oh, a poker set right here. Is it all poker cart? Chips? Oh my gosh, yeah, this is a huge thing of poker chips in there. We don't need to take that apart. High school diplomas go in their box. Stocking, what's over here? 
Just a St. Louis Cardinals bag. Just a bag. What's in the totes though? Ooh, Ooh random. Uh, looks very random. Just like old cards maybe? Old or old games? Yo-yos. Just old school stuff. Yeah, just some old games. Interesting. Let's go to the green one under it. What is that? Oh, these are um, martial art belts. Yeah, martial oh my gosh. They even have the tape stripes. So like, if you're like, say you're a yellow belt and you're getting ready to go for a green belt, in this case, orange belt, and you don't, like they give you the orange tape before you can go for the next belt. It's oh. really weird. That's all it was a Taekwondo. I took Taekwondo when I was younger. We get little tapes on so it. So it's like uh, different levels until you get the full orange belt? Basically. <gasps> Look. Ooh. Game Boy Advance SP. Oh, please. Please. Oh. Oh, look at this. First off, those are all Pokemon pins. Wow. That's cool. Hold that's going to be worth some money. Let and me bask too, in that. There we that's go. beautiful. Nice. That's really beautiful. What's this first? What is in here? These are these glasses. They feel like glasses. They're goggles. Oh, goggles. No. <gasps> Dragon Ball Z cards. <laughs> Look, these are the old ones too. Goku grabbing Raditz's tail. <laughs> Final form Frieza. Chi Chi. <laughs> Trunks, Raccoon, Ginyu Frog. Oh, these are some old school Dragon Ball Z cards. That's cool. Here's the disc for the Game Shark. We actually found the thing last time. And here's the manual for the Game Boy. So, you know what? Keep that box for I sure. I am keeping all this out because I still think we're going to find it somewhere in this unit for sure. Maybe right here. Let's see. It looks like something interested in there. Oh, no. Hmm. Uh, kind of. Well, I don't know what these are. What's in there? It's supposed to be dice. Is it? Oh, marbles. marbles. Okay. These are like, looks like a school maybe. project or something. Yeah. Those. Are we'll keep the sports memorabilia stuff, but that's definitely an interesting box. I think we're going to keep getting Van's better box. and better. Oh, I didn't even see that. Come here. I almost missed it. Let's see. Is it empty? It feels really light. Let's see. How do I open it without destroying it? Uh, right here. Oh, okay. It's paper, just paper. I got another box, and you know what you should do right now? Huh. You should just leave the video a thumbs up because this storage unit's been pretty fun so far, and I think we're gonna get a lot more. And if you're new, subscribe because we buy storage units all the time, even if they're 3K like this. If it looks interesting, we're gonna buy it for you. So, ooh, are these shoes? I see a lot of shoes. He was number one. Oh. Baltimore Orioles. <laughs> Let's see, let me move the knife out the way. Let's see what kind of shoes we got. I gotta find the vans that we just found the box yeah, to. Probably. These might be some vintage, you know what I mean? Like they could be vintage. Like these could be money actually. So these shoes are just definitely gonna be questionable. That brand was Globe, I've never heard of that. Me neither. But some of these could definitely be money. There's some DC, some old skater shoes. You never know, like random old clothes and random old shoes could be worth money. So this one's a toss up. If they're not, they're gonna be like a couple dollars a pair, or nothing really. But if they are, it could be a couple hundred bucks. You never know. I'm excited, you see what that says? Your hand's in the way, but it says games missed. There we games go. Games and missed. That could mean two <laughs> hey. things though. That could be the video games we've been waiting for or Ooh. it could be like board games that Don't are worth nothing. Say that. It's video I, games. It is. This is the Game Boy collection. With video all the Pokemon game. games, sealed games and everything. Video games. It's all about to be right here. Give it video your juju. Games. Come on. Come on box. Let's see. I know what's in here. I know what's in here. Let's see. Oh I jinxed it didn't I? This looks like a back game. So it could be, it could be both. It could be both. Could be yeah. both. Oh well that was a back game set. That's probably back game. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's see what this is right here. Ooh. What is that? Check this out. Baseball player on the front. Up oh, some more baseball mm -hmm. cards for sure. Mm -hmm. What are the ones that are in? Oh, these yep. are, they're mm -hmm. not actually in there. What are these little like cutout things? Are these cards? Huh, I've never they're seen these. They're like scratchers things. or Match something. Stats. That's something I've never seen before. Okay, <laughs> set that here. Let's go to the side. That's an old Monopoly. Another Rams football. That one's like more of a plush. Yeah, really old Monopoly. What's in here? Rubber bands and colored pencils. What's supposed to be in there? I know, it wasn't <laughs> supposed to be. What about the Reebok box? Shoes, right here. Oh, it's tape. No, ooh, jewelry box though. Come on, come on. Oh, Whoa. we got one. Whoa. We got a ring. Let's see. Look at it. This is gonna be hard to see. It's really dark in here. Oh, I can't read it. Uh, definitely, it has markings in it for sure though. So we're gonna have to look this up when we get home. Let's see what it looks like. Get a close up shot of that sucker. That's definitely in there, so. Nice. Nice. Let's look about this one right here. I'll lose it. I'm putting it right back <laughs> in there. Let's go to this guy right here. It sounds like there's something in there too. Fine jewelry. Oh yeah, it's a little heart pendant. Mm. Check that out. Ooh, two mm. hearts together. I bet nice. you these are gold. Nice. I'm willing to, oh, this one has bigger writing on it. Give me a light, shine a light over here a little bit. Let's see if I can read it. Nah, no, I can't. Uh, but it says something on it too. It definitely has writing on it. So these are all a bunch of little personal another handwritten. Another jewelry thing. Ooh, another 
In a second. In a second. <laughs> All these little notes and stuff. Oh, love notes? I don't know. I want to say love notes because the jewelry's in there. With it's it. actually that's actually a good point. So the notes and stuff like that, I'm gonna go ahead and just take out and put over here because that kind of stuff's personal. The jewelry, on the other hand, it might be personal, but you know we can't just buy these and give it all back. What is it? It's definitely like a little necklace, there but it's definitely in there. So that's pretty cool. Let's set that aside as well. I like this box. Hmm. I like this box too. <laughs> Let's see what this is right here. Something's wrapped up nice and tight in it. Ooh, a truck. It's metal too. Hmm. See, so you got a year on it. Uh, nope. But it's it says 1931 Hawkeye on it. I don't think it's from the 30s, but it's probably meant to you know look like a truck from the 30s. It's actually a bank. Did you notice that? No. I didn't even notice that. It's a coin bank. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, I just realized something else too. Huh. I had to point this out. This isn't even worth money. Yeah. When I was in elementary school, we used to use these and color it with a marker and then fill it with glue. So then when it would dry up, you would be colored glue and it'd be like a book marker. We used to sell these in elementary school. Like we'd sell them for like $2. <laughs> and it would only cost like 50 cents per glue bottle. Which what a business. Too. Hey, I've been an entrepreneur since I was about six. All right, I saw nature in front of my grandmother's house when I was like four. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, is this the shop class? Yes, these are shop class wooden cars. Used to put, make them, put a CO2 tank in there, shoot them off and race them. Oh my gosh, that's nostalgic. That is nostalgic. I wish me and my friend's car was still there because one year we made a tank. This is another trophy. He'll get his trophy back. This is, okay, hey, give me a high five. <gasps> Yay. But we made a tank and it won like two out of three of the races we ran that year. Let's go to big box here. Just all gloves. Is what is this? Recorder? Oh my gosh! Don't be a recorder. <laughs> Hot cross buns. It is, isn't it? But it's like a what? black and golden one. This is not the oh, typical. Oh, it's a fancy one. Yeah, I'm about to say we, we get the that plastic tan one. <laughs> exactly, the plastic <laughs> tan one. Who learned hot cross buns? Oh wait, I'm lying. I had one of the see-through colored ones. And oh, no, I had the tan one. <laughs> I had the boring tan one that everybody had. What is? Oh, case logic. Mm. There's nothing in there though. Dang it! A lot of gloves in here. A lot of gloves. <gasps> Christmas. Look. What is that? The Pokeballs. Oh, I thought these were Christmas balls. Please be in there. <laughs> I was Please like, be wait. In there. Give me Charizard. Give me Charizard. Yes. Oh. Tokapri. Wow. He's in there. That's nostalgic. These are good hey. money. These are like 30 bucks a piece on average. I think Mewtwo is the one that's worth like 50 or 60. So if we can get Mewtwo. You're definitely right about this um, guy's age range though. Definitely. Weird. Oh, there's Mewtwo, there's just Mewtwo. like we call it. There's Mewtwo, and the fact that he's in there and he even has the little nice. certificate with it in the ball, in the ball good actually condition. still closes. Yeah, like these are not usually in good condition. They're really not. I find, I've found them fairly often, but they're never in that kind of condition. Can we get it again? Pikachu, Pikachu, Pikachu. Ha I called it. <laughs> Pikachu, Mewtwo, and Tokopri. Tokopri. I like his sounds, I don't know why. Just in case you weren't a cool kid in the 90s, these came out in 1999 and were released by Burger King in a set of six different Pokemon and they're extremely sought after because of kids like me that are really nostalgic for them in their 30s or 20s. Always did. All right, let's get this out the way. Oh, look at these Converse boxes. They're gonna be full. Ooh. They're gonna be full. They're gonna be full. Of? Games. Games. Oh, oh ooh, shoot. ooh. Those are beat. Those you can, are beat. You can run pretty fast in those, I think. Yeah, I'd say so too. They're pretty fire, huh? <laughs> this one? Ah, shoes. What about this one? Are they all shoes? No, no, no. There's a bumper sticker. There's an old CD player. What was he listening to? You think it has a CD in it? Let's find out. No, no. nothing. An automatic alarm clock. A wallet. You got a wallet. Let's see if there's any cash in it. Very rarely happens. I think only maybe once or twice I find cash in wallets. It's the last place you find it in the storage unit. I got a watch though, a Seiko. That's good right there. Nice. Then we have another watch right here. Does anyone recognize that logo at the top? It doesn't have a brand name written mm -hmm. on it. Just that logo. Mm -hmm. uh, we got some very expired gum. You want to chew it? No, okay. Stride. Um, is this the Lift Strong? Oh, please it is. the Army Strong one too. No. This is like a freaking time machine back to when I was in elementary <laughs> school right now. Yeah. Remember when everybody had these? Yes. Oh my God, and they had the green Army Strong ones. Just so nostalgic. And other than that, not seeing too much else in here. Other, underneath the boxes is a giant, oh, there's more boxes underneath that. Hold on. I was say, get it all out. We're getting it all out. We are getting it all out. Let's get the Converse boxes. I thought the checkers board went all the way down, but it doesn't. So there's something under it, I think. And that Huh? Sorry, that one pair of Converse that had signatures on it, I might leave that behind. Yeah, unfortunately, underneath of it is just Monopoly. And this right here this is another backgammon and stuff. Probably, yeah. Let's see. It sounds like it, but can never be too sure. No, other one. Let's do it. 
Yeah, yeah, another backgammon set, but that is an awesome box. Let's go to some of the straight box, straight back. I was gonna say straight box, but straight back. Ooh, poster too. That could be good. This is either a school project or something signed and cool. One of the two. Oh. USA, Guam. What is it? Oh, is this a military? No, because we found this is just a Ooh. stupid diver. Oh, that's so scary. That looks terrifying. Oh, God. The reason I said that last time we found some um, military style photo album from like the 40s that was about in Guam. So I figured I'd check. Let's put that in here. Go in and we'll get it back in later. Set it right here for now. Mm -hmm. You go there. What about this stuff on bag? Feels empty, but we've got to double check. Let's see. Oh, no, see? There's a hat. <laughs> wow. There's just a hat. Is that actually a. Beige, uh, is this the Olympics hat? This might yeah. be an Olympic hat. Beijing that could actually have value now that I'm looking at it. That very well might be valuable. This is just simply a chair. There's no need to go into detail on that. I'll put it right there. And then let's start getting some of these boxes. So I'm curious to go down the middle. What is this? 10 pounds of wrapping paper. Of wrapping paper. Is that actually what's in there? Hey. That is what's in there. We always need this. I'm not gonna use it to wrap stuff. It's just gonna be for packing stuff without it breaking. So free supplies are free supplies. I'm always happy to take those. Let's see, a body ball. Already got two of those. Don't need them. Let's put this over here. <laughs> what? What? Right. We already talked about that earlier. I figured I'd bring it up one more time. Just to drive the point home. Where'd I put the knife? Right here. Let's see what's in this one. Uh, slice and uh, slice. Ooh, mystery box. I like the mystery. Let's see. Ooh, crystal, huh? Let's see. Why crystal so de Arquise from France. Yes, uh, it's taped. Tape. I was like, say, why isn't it coming open? Let's see. Let's slice the tape open here and over here. Ugh. Okay. Can I open it right here? Can you yeah. see it good? Oh yeah, they're all in there too. They look nice. It's a six Flick piece. It. Ready? Let's get that crystal sound. Ooh, you hear that ring? Mm, nice. You hear that ring? That's gonna be worth some cash right there. That's a six pack right there. So I'm just gonna lift them and see if they're heavy. If they're heavy, we'll assume they're in there. Oh my gosh. That's in there. That's in. Yeah, they're all in here. Yeah. That's some money right there. That is some freaking money. This box says books, so we're gonna cut it open and see. But there's one underneath of it that just says Misco on it. That's where we found all the great stuff last time. So let's see if we can do it again. Is this actually just books. Yeah, unfortunately, this does look like books. Hold on. Ugh. Oh, I saw something to do with that in Beijing 2008 on it. I'm making sure it wasn't Olympics. It's just an ad for it. Just books. Go to the yard sale. 50 cents a piece. Maybe five, ten bucks for the box. Here's one that says miscellaneous. What does that say? Miscellaneous Mis night. Okay. Um, I night. used to play video games late at night. <laughs> my mom thought I was asleep, so maybe this is our video games are. What's where my sleep deprivation habits began? Now I'm 30 and they're still here. Let's do it. Oh, hey, come on. Stuff. Come on. Mm, I can't lie. It does not feel like it's in there. Let's see. It's just the manual. Just the manual. That's all right. I'm going to put it aside with the Game Boy box because I still believe we're going to find these consoles somewhere else in here. Easter basket. Oh boy. Let's see. Oh, candy. Take your guess. When do these Snickers expire? Um, What's your guess? 2011. I don't know. 2000, November 2008. Eight. So, <laughs> somebody want to try it? I'll give it to you, good deal. There's some coins. Oh, Iron Maiden. Check that out. These CDs are worth money. Oh, that's not in, that's not even in there. Okay. So look in here. What do we have here? Ooh, look. A box. Ooh. Hey. There's like dried up candy all on the outside. That's kind of gross, but at least they had paper on it. Ugh. We got through. Yeah, I got through. Whatever's <laughs> in there is safe, right? Oh, what is this stuff? Let's put it over here. Let's see, we have us a watch here, another watch here, another, that's somebody's card, I don't know if you're seeing that, another watch, a bunch of watches actually, like a bunch of watches and some jewelry in here. This could definitely be silver, let's see, does it have a marking on it? It doesn't look like it's, um, what's the word, tarnishing, so I'm gonna guess not, it's not marked either. This right here, definitely looks like it could, this is the I am a Catholic priest, what? Okay. A Catholic priest necklace? That could be gold too. Very well could be, but lots of little jewelry in there. Set that aside. What's this? Oh, St. Louis Rams little like globe. That's gonna be valuable. Let's see. Are these all CDs here? These are all CDs. Ooh, I see video games. That's what I was hoping for. I see Command and Conquer, Generals, <laughs> Rome Total Warfare. Look, Mario Kart for DS. Please be in there. No, just the case. 
There has to be a Zora. box with all this stuff. I in think it. there's gonna be a box somewhere with consoles and games. I no, because you wouldn't just keep all just the cases and get rid of the console. Like it just makes no sense. Is this Avenged Sevenfold it looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Same with the CDs. Like we haven't really found much CDs. There has to be no. a box with them all. I think so too. Let's go a little deeper. Iron Maiden, is that in there at least? Because some of their CDs are valuable, mm -hmm. no? It's empty too. Hmm. Hmm. It's alright, that's alright. Star Wars VHS. Let's see. A lot of new. A lot of new DVDs. Yeah, look at this. Quite a few new ones. This might have been the newest Family Guy at the time. There's a lot of Family Guy in here. Look, season um, mm -hmm. season three, season volume one, one season two. one and two. Oh, that's cool. That's nostalgic. Family Guy's great. He used to be. He's not as good anymore. Oh, I thought this was a GameCube. I'm not going to lie. It looked like the right size. Uh, bunch of TV cases, and as you can see, a lot of them are empty. That's all the artwork. Yeah, it's all the books out of it. And we have Simpsons and some just other DVDs down there. Should I go to the little box or the bigger box? Little. Little? Let's try the right. little one. Ooh, guns. Nerf guns. <laughs> <laughs> we got, hey, is this for the guitar on here? It's just like a, what is that? It doesn't say nothing on it, does it? It literally has no, no information on it. It's just a pedal. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe that's for the guitar, but I'm not too sure. So you got your little box. Now we go to the bigger box. The big box, bigger box is better. And that means you have to leave a comment saying, this storage unit is the best. It's just law. Oh, I think, I think this one's gonna win. Is it, is it? Santa and the reindeer in a low rider. I mean, come on, that's already in. Let's see the Apple box. Ooh, Ooh what's in this? This is an old iPod touch? box. Oh my gosh, it's not in there. Oh. It's not in there, but it's gonna be somewhere. Oh look, that's part of like the protection for it. What's in here? Ew, ew. Office stuff. Yeah, we don't want office stuff. Let's get this out of here. But this, in this headset, is this one of those old Logitech? This is Fender. Fender. This might go for the, the part the we guitar. found was a Fender. Yeah, so that's good. We're still hoping to find an amp in here somewhere for it. Let's see. This is... What in the world? I don't even have a guess. If you have a guess, you let me know in the comments. What? Yeah, I have no clue. That. <laughs> okay. That's random. Chocolate Ew. What? You want that chocolate rabbit? Oh, who wants to taste it? Ew. Who wants to taste that chocolate rabbit? <laughs> Doesn't it look delicious? Let's see. Uh, old little gift set. Uh, uh, what about this? What's down here? These are a photo album. They'll get that back. This one. Same thing, uh, they'll get that back as well. Let's see, what is that? Come here. That looks like, I don't even know. Just bolts to something. These are just really random stuff. But overall, I think this box still wins. So that means you should have to subscribe and leave the comment saying this storage unit is awesome right now. I am kind of curious as to why this box is wrapped up in paper. That's kind of strange, right? Let's see what's in there. Well, we got a picture frame, a really heavy duty picture frame. This is like really heavy for some reason. It's just an old Rams like vest or uh, jacket I mean. Hmm, looks old though. Definitely looks old. School project maybe. Let's see. This, nothing. It's so random what's in this unit. Oh, there's a bunch of photos down there. A bunch of photos in there. So that will make sure they get back. What's in the envelope? Bunch of cash. Oh, bunch of photos again. They'll get all their pictures back. This box is labeled Cardinals, and this guy's been a pretty big Arizona Arizona Cardinals collector. So I'm hoping maybe we have some signed memorabilia, something like that in here. Some signed cards, anything like that. It's going to be worth some big money. Let's find out together. Well, it doesn't look like Cardinals to me. I mean, it's red, so I guess that's a positive. Oh, it's a quarter map. Hey. Can I have the quarters? Can I have the quarters? Hey! hey. Uh, it's, uh, Not complete, but I don't know. Some of them, they're actually falling out. Hey. It might actually be complete. I mean, in a bare minimum, just all the quarters. It's $12.50 in quarters, so hey, I'll take cash. Cash is always king. Let's go a little deeper in here. This is personal picture. You can have it. Personal pictures. Take it. Personal. Where's the cardinal stuff? There's some. All these personal photos are going back over here. Cardinals. Oop, there we go. So check that out. That's pretty cool. This is an old calendar. So we'll put that aside. What about, oh yeah, look at this. These are just all taken out of the frames. There's tons of really nice Cardinal stuff. This is good actually though, because it'll make shipping a lot cheaper for whoever ends up buying them. And that way you can just get a frame for it. But this is just an empty frame. Look, they, these are probably what they look like once they're framed. Put that one aside. Yeah, look at this. I mean, this is loaded with Cardinal stuff, loaded with Cardinal stuff. All the stuff's gonna be for sale in the next week or so on our whatnot, so make sure you're following us on whatnot. If you're not, use our link, 
sign up on screen because that gives you $15 in free credit. So you can get stuff. And we start all our auctions at everything at a dollar. So you can get some really good deals from us. We're crazy. If you're here for the first time, <laughs> check it out. More Cardinals. They all, a lot of these have stamps on them. You notice that too? Yeah. Kind of interesting. Let's see, let's set it over here. What about this? Is that something? Well, look. Super Bowl. Um, yeah, little Super Bowl play. There's another one in there too. What else is in there? Come here. Open up. Open up. There's another one. Marshall Falk. Falk. I, I could have pronounced that another way, but I'm family <laughs> friendly here on YouTube. Let's see. More Cardinals. More Cardinals. A lot of these have these, which are great, which means they're like actually um, hologram by the MLB. So like they're official merchandise, not somebody's at home frame job. So that's a good thing to see too. Just like that. Never Boom. ends. Beautiful. Is that all that's in here? We have an old school Cardinals thing here. What about this? Is that a, that's a personal picture. We'll get that one back. But there's also a tube here. So no telling what's in the tube. Let's see. Come out. Come out. Sign picture. Sign picture. Sign picture. It's, well, it's just like a blown up version of a Mark McGuire uh, newspaper ad. That taped up fridge, or that sealed shut fridge is still bothering me. But I really also want to get into this. I haven't seen any containers like that in this unit, so let's get these couple boxes out the way and see what's in those first, so we can then go to that one. Let's see. Ah, that looks more like paperwork, huh? Paper, what about the big box here? Oh, it's all cards and things like that, so I'll be, I always look at them for money, but again, I just make sure they get them back. But we have found cash in cards like this, wedding cards, birthday cards, stuff like that. We have found money in it and gift cards in them, so it's always worth a check but I'm just gonna leave it behind for them to get back. This is a pretty wide box, different than the rest. Where did the knife go? Here it is. Let's see what's in this guy. Where does it even open? Yeah. Doesn't look like there's an opening right anywhere. Where? Oh, okay, so it's just overfolded. You don't even need the knife. Let's, put it yeah. Let's see, come on, where's my video games at? Right here, bang. Oh, well that looks like- Baby stuff? Baby stuff, bathroom stuff, munchkins. Changing. Yeah. Uh, definitely not the video games we're looking for, unfortunately, but you know, still something. Now we could go to the baby blue case and see what's in that guy. <laughs> hmm. First one of these. Come on. Come on. Oh, well, I thought that was a bank envelope. Mr. President, Barack Obama paper on January 21st. That's my birthday. That's kind of weird. Some newspapers. What is this right here? Commonwealth photography. Is this? Yeah, these are. Somebody's seen your pictures is what they look like. So they'll get those back. Oh man, these are all personal cards and stuff again. So we'll have to look through these all again. What's in here? Something's in there and it's wrapped up really nice in styrofoam. Let's see. A jewelry box with no jewelry in it. Hmm. Okay. We also found a ton of empty jewelry boxes in the first video. So I'm hoping to find some actual jewelry here soon too. I don't see nothing in here besides personalized stuff though, unfortunately. Let's go back to the corner here, switch sides again. This box here looks like significantly older than all the rest of them, so let's see. Give me the knife. Let's see, what is that? What is that? Huh. Oh, it's a bowl from Guam. <laughs> Made of bamboo. bamboo. That's cool. Cool. That is cool. What about this here? Another thing from Guam. Huh. So this might have been some souvenirs they bought back from a trip to Guam. Oh wow. More cards. A lot of cards. They keep a lot of stuff like this. And the good thing about us buying the unit is you guys can all rest sure that we will leave it for them to come get back so they don't have to lose it. Oh my gosh, look at these documents. May. What is that? This is a uh, <clears throat> spending my life. It's like a writing <laughs> from 1975. That's so cool actually. Like it's such a valueless memento to like somebody like us buying the unit, but for like a family, that stuff's priceless. This has $2 price tag on it. What is it, a little bag? Look at this, let's see. Ugh. Just has a little Bible in it and like a little rosary in it. So like a little, just a little religious kit right there. And the final one I'm gonna guess is more of the same. <laughs> yeah, it's just handwritten stuff and a little personalized photo album with a bunch of memories in it. So this whole box is staying behind. I'm trying to breathe right now. You remember what I said earlier in this video, right? What I was looking for, cause this guy's a 90s kid. You remember what I was looking for? It went something like that. If those are all from the 90s, this right here could pay for the unit. Plus please. some. Cross fingers. Come on, please give me Pokemon cards. Please, just be full, full, full. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, please. 
please, please. Oh, what is that? Okay, I see some Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh my gosh. Rugrats comics. comics. That is whoa. valuable. This is a Pokemon trading card game starter. Starter gift box. Hey. Okay, let's bring this over here for a second. Let's see. Are these in here? These are in here, but what are they? Is this sealed? Mm -hmm. No, it is. How's it open? Right here. Okay, no, it's Be not careful, sealed. Though. Oh, these are Pokemon cards, all right? Oh my gosh. Look at this beauty. These are all from 1990s, too. These are all from the 90s. Hey, Where is start, my Charizard? Start. What? I said good start to this box. Uh, a lot of energy cards in here. A lot of energy cards in here. Where is my... There's hot water. So maybe here uh, Charizard will be in there. But if you don't know, Charizard, the original one, could be worth a lot of money. If it's graded, you're talking thousands and thousands of dollars. So even in bad condition, he's still worth some money. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. Come here. No energy. We don't we have enough energy. Enough energy. Ah. Where's Charizard? This stuff has been in here for this long too. So like it's Charmeleon, Charmander. Oh, come on. Both <laughs> of these evolutions except Charizard. Where's Charizard? Don't play with me. Another Charmander. two more Charmanders. Why are they doing this to me? Oh, look, there's some hidden cards in here. Let me guess, one of these are Charmander or Charizard. No, no. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. These cards are still worth bank. So it's not a big deal. Look at these, look at these. Grass and Chopper. Yeah, these are in here too. Look. <laughs> They're all in there as well. So I'm not gonna complain. These are worth money for sure. I don't know what this box goes here for. I bet you this box here is worth money on its own. So let's set that aside. Let's keep digging. What's in here? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Look at this. Yes, baby. <laughs> yes, this is what we were hoping for. These are all the little Pokemon uh, badge books. These all that has cards in them. They all have cards. Look, I'm just want to scan one. Does it have a barcode? I have no idea what these go for. 90s Pokemon cards can go from like a couple bucks to a couple <laughs> thousand. So let's just scan the barcode on this and see what this is worth. There you go. Look at this box on its own. It's like, if it's sealed, it's like $160. So I bet you if they're all in there, it's probably around a hundred bucks. And we just opened a box with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. So that's money all day. I'm not going to complain about that. I love it. What's in this little box here? Come here, come here, come here. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, the Japanese ones too. This is what I'm talking about. These are all gonna be 90s too. Like this stuff's been in here for 20 years. So these are all gonna be 90s. Yeah, they are, of course. And what's crazy is like we said, this has been in here, Blaine's Charmander, since that era. So like they don't know, nobody knew back then that for example, Charizard would be worth thousands of dollars today. So they wouldn't know to take them out. True. So, I think he's gonna be in there somewhere. But I really do. Charizard was also a very popular one. He was. He Why was. is he worth so much anyway? I don't know. Somebody can answer that in the comments because they might know more. <gasps> card these loaders. are card loaders. Oh my gosh. If they all have cards in them, these might be like the ones that will actually they're probably not even that valuable. That's probably just their favorite at the time. But let's see. I don't know if they have cards in them or not. Come here. No, they're all empty. But we can definitely, when we sell them, we'll sell with these. So let's see. Does the other box have any? Ha 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 ha. You see that? Yeah. These have all, these all have cards in them. These all have cards in them. Ah. Come on. Where's Charizard? Oh, look at that. Look at the old school holographic blast toys. Oh, these are all, he, he freaking did not put all the holographics in here for me. This guy. Oh no. And these are some trainer ones too. Where is, ah, there's the goat. Charizard. There's the goat. Look at him. There's Charizard. Oh my gosh, I told you he'd be in here. 1995. I knew he'd be in here. This guy, and he's in good shape. Take him out of here a little bit. I'm gonna try to look at like his corners and stuff. Uh, I mean, that's, it's got some little bit of bed. It's not gonna be like a nine or a 10 or nothing like that if we get him graded, but he's still in good shape. He's in really good shape. Oh my God. I knew this was coming. I knew it was coming. Like you can't be a 90s kid. Oh, Dragonite. Dragonite's money too. You can't be a 90s kid and not have had Pokemon cards. Like that's, I think some kind of law. Like by law, I think it's required <laughs> to have had them. That is true. Look, oh my gosh. Even some of these, like these old holders are worth money. Uh, this one doesn't even have cards in it, but I guarantee you that's still worth some money too. Let's see, is this all Pokemon card? Oh my gosh, guys. There's some cases here. Yes, there are. This is insanity. This is absolute insanity. Look how many more boxes we have. Charizard, wow. Goku. That 
These used to come in the Jack specific action I was figures. Say, I yeah, those. You, they come in there with the action figures. If we find Dragon Ball Z action figures, I'll uh. be no more good. <laughs> if you don't know, we probably I think we have the largest Dragon Ball Z collection in the United States at over six thousand items. We have another channel for it. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. That is just beautiful. Woo! My gosh. This could pay for the entire unit. We don't know. This box right here could be the whole unit. Oh my gosh. Oh. Wow. Oh. That is Japanese my. One. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is insanity. Absolute insanity. This is no, this oh, mixed. Char oh, come on, look. Charmander, Charmeleon. No Charizard. Do we have another Charizard somewhere? I don't know. I mean, he could be in any of these binders. He could be in any of those boxes. We could have another one. This is insane right here. This is what we do it for. These are the moments that you hope for when you buy storage units. They don't come very often. I've been doing this for six years. This is by far, this is all Pokemon value book. The most Pokemon cards I've ever found in a storage unit. Oh, look at the old Mewtwo. Look at these. This is so much money. I don't think I should. I think we're going to have to take these to a shop. Charizard again. We're gonna have to take these somewhere to know what they know what they're doing. Cause like these, some of these can be worth thousands, if not more, maybe tens of thousands of dollars. You just don't know. This is definitely a collection we're gonna have to take to a specialist and get looked at because it's just insanity. Is that all that's in the box? That's it. Holy crap. Wait, what's in there? That's right. Did not just open that one or no? No? Yeah, it's a oh, Japanese yeah, yeah. one. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. 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 But <laughs> man, that box right there, Units paid for, I think, in my eyes. I think we already profited off of that box. I really do. That could be anywhere from a couple thousand to a hundred thousand dollar Pokemon card collection. We're definitely going to get that entire collection appraised. And if you guys want to see a video of it, let us know down in the comments. Back to the unit. I don't even know what to say right now. I'm just in a freaking good mood, baby. I'm just in a freaking good mood. Let's go to this one. Albums. Don't be photo albums. You know what? No, they're not. Those, these are albums of more Pokemon cards. I already seen this episode. Come on, come on, come on. Nah, they don't look like it, but I'm still looking. I'm still looking. Let's see. These photo, nah, these are photo albums. So these again, we're definitely gonna make sure the owners of this unit get back. What's in the box? Are these all pictures? Yeah, this looks like a big old family. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like memories. a memory of a wedding photo album. They'll definitely get it all back. Two more boxes in this corner, and I'm going through every single one of them. You can bet your booty that I'm looking through every single one of those boxes in the corner. Let's see. Right here. All right, what do we got? Rope to tie up victims. Nice. This is thick rope. Like, what was this used for? Okay, that's kind of violent-ish. Let's see. This right here is a... Uh, what? Pillowcase? Yeah, pillowcases. Yeah. All new though. Like, the amount of new stuff is kind of crazy. Let's see. Just more of like home decor pieces. Pillowcases. Pillowcases. Why is this all new? Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool looking. There's something in there. Let's see. A candle. Yeah. Figures. What's supposed to be in there? All right, let's see on the other side <laughs> though. Is this bag right here empty? Yeah, this bag is empty. This bag is empty. So this is all really good yard sale stuff. Last box in that corner real quick. Let's see what's in this guy. Come on, come on. Slice them and slice them. <clears throat> Let's go. What do we have in here? This, is, oh, boy. Cleaner. Every store unit is bo required by law to have this box as well. An air mattress is one thing they're required to have, and they're also always required to have a box of like very cheap old expired cleaner that they didn't throw away for whatever reason. So this says it's like a printer, but then it's also just put on their BR, which usually means a bedroom in the storage world. So let's see if he actually just filled it up with random stuff, or if it's actually just a really old outdated like printer or skin or whatever. Let's, uh, I think it's B. <laughs> That is a really old scanner. Think this is an old keyboard or something random? Uh, I think, it's think it's in there? Yeah. Let's find out. Come here. One, two, oh, it's tape. Nope. It's in there, all right. It's actually all still together, too. <laughs> I have no idea if this is like going to be that weird age to where it's old enough to be valuable or if it's just old enough to be useless and not collectible yet. You know what I mean? So hopefully that thing has some value to it. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, silver. silver. I said two things were going to be in this unit. I said coins and I said Pokemon cards. We found the Pokemon cards. That is going to be the silver coins. Just watch and see. Just oh. watch and see. 
This unit's gonna be a jackpot. Just watch and see. Let's go into this. We still have to open that fridge here soon. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I bid on this shit. <laughs> I'm so happy I bid on this shit. This unit. is this one is the epitome of good stuff in the back. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Let's see what this is. Oh, oh. It actually is a vase like it says. The box said vases. It looks like it's just a bunch of um yeah, it's literally just a ton of wrapped up vases. So that's again just gonna go to a box that goes right to our yard sale pile. Let's go here, right here. This one just says hats, but this is all hats. There's like 50 of them in here. It looks really heavy. Oh my gosh, it is all hats. Wow. So these, I'm not mad at this. These are money all day. These sell very well, especially older ones like this. Like this is from the All-Star game in 2009, 15 years ago. I guarantee you, these are probably, oh look, got a golden dollar on his stomach. Mm. But I mean, look down there. There's probably a hundred hats in here. Jeez. A hundred hats, easy. And most of the vintage ones are still like at least five bucks on the low end, more 10 to 20. So I would say this is, oh my gosh, look at that. Jeez. This is probably a four or $500 box, I would guess, easy. I, I have to know. <laughs> but let's see, this, this does not look good. This looks like bathroom rugs. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Let's see, is it all bathroom rugs? It is, it's not gonna be highly valuable, but again, it's gonna be something we put out on our big yard sales. We sell everything on our yard sale for a dollar, so somebody will take it. I got another box here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, it is open. Okay, what do we have? Oh, whoa. Oh my gosh. Grand Fidato 4 Special Edition. Wow. Nico Bellic. Hey, do you want to go bowling? If you don't, <laughs> if you never play that game, you don't get that. Is this sealed? No. Oh no, okay. I was gonna say, say no way. Oh. What is that? What the heck? What in the heck? Oh, this is actually how it's oh. I thought this was a safe <laughs> at first too. Uh wait, is it There's locked? Something in there. I know how do I open it? Is it really locked? Really? It's locked. Oh. No, I don't wanna have to break no, it. No, don't break it yet. We'll, we'll figure it out. Break it. We'll figure this out, yeah, because that could be very valuable too. Let's go in there. Oh look, are these all game magazines? These are all game guides, aren't they? Look at this. Go okay, Game Informer. Game Informers. Remember when GameStop used to have these all the time? I think they still do, but now they suck. They used to be cool once upon a time. Fable 2, such a good game. Such a, there's a Fender guitar, there's a GTA 4 <laughs> guide. And there is just a bunch more game magazines. What's this? Uh, what is it? That's a good question. I didn't even see it. It blended in with the side of the thing. No, oh, look at that. Uh, this is somebody, this is a St. Louis Cardinals fan. It has their picture in there, oh. so they'll get this back. Not too excited about this box if the label's right. It says files on it, but maybe something else is in there. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, it doesn't look like it. I see personal info. Yeah, this is a metric crap ton of personal paperwork. That we are gonna leave right here in the unit for them to get back. So I was just moving the table to get it out the way so we can get into that fridge. And I noticed that underneath of it was a suitcase and another suitcase. So let's see if this suitcase, there's definitely something in there. I don't know what it is, but we're about to find out. Let's see, which way does it slide? That way, uh, there yeah. it is. Good job. Let's see. Ah, uh, what is that? Yeah, this is somebody's personal stuff. Personal, personal. The suitcase is actually really nice. So the suitcase will sell for some money. So I'm gonna take their personal stuff out, put it in their pile, and keep the suitcase. Let's see if this one is papers or not. It's definitely not empty. We know that much. Nothing's in there, but it's definitely full of something. Come on, give me some more Pokemon cards. These are all his graded ones. Let's see. Actually, they probably would have seen no reason to get them graded back then because they weren't worth nothing when they found them. They were just fun. Now it's when all the nostalgia money comes. What the heck? I opened There's every section. section. There we go. I was about to say. I know I feel stuff in here. Oh, oh laptop. Let's see. This looks like a nice one, actually. Let's. Where is it? IBM open Think Pad. Other side. This Other side. No. Right here. Oh, I just didn't see the little slider. I was like, it doesn't feel like it's opening from there. Windows XP, baby. Yeah. That's how you know it's. Open. Windows Ground, oh, baby. <laughs> Luckily, it was in the case. Yeah. But uh. No, it's the same thing it looks like. Charger's in there at least. Yeah, both of the charger, one charger's in there for two laptops. I mean, hey, even for parts only, they're gonna be worth at least 20 bucks a piece. After spending 10 minutes fighting with that cord, I finally got it undone so we can get into the fridge. They're obviously hiding something in here. I think it's the neighbor. <sighs> oh, no, that, it actually doesn't smell. You know what, for a refrigerator, this is probably one of the cleanest ones I've ever gotten out of a storage unit. Usually these things, you open it up and you're like, why would you keep that? <laughs> Freezer, it's pretty clean too. You know what, that's probably, 
at least a hundred or two hundred dollars right there. If you didn't see part one, click it on screen and go watch it and make sure you subscribe and come back because next time we're going into silver tote. Don't miss it guys. Peace out.